Dave, the big news of the day is uh, Mandy Rose and WWE, and uh, she has been released from WWE. How much of this was WWE releasing her versus she and WWE disagreeing on things and them sort of both going their own way? Um, you know, I don't really know. I know that, uh, everything came, I mean, I think it was more WWE releasing her, um, but it all came down in the last, uh, day or two, you know, I mean, the title change wasn't supposed to happen last night. That was a, a late decision. The match wasn't even supposed to take place that night. They were supposed to do a, a different match and they rearranged the card on, um, I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday and, um, I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. And, um, everything just uh changed from there and um you know it's it's from the account she was doing and i guess that they found out about things that uh were more risque than they wanted their talent to do and she makes a lot of money from it and but but i think that that she may have gone past the breaking point of what is allowable today for talent uh, so that's probably where it all went down and there were the there were other things too but that's the main thing now we've heard in the past with Zelina Vega and her twitch and only fans and, and stuff like that where they were drawing a pretty hard line on what you could do how was she able to actually have this account had has something changed with them or was this or the, were they getting a piece of her business how was that how did that work what I was told was I mean there, there's different rules for the main roster I mean, because that's one of the reasons why I had pretty much been told that she was getting the best of both worlds because she was still getting her main roster contract, but she was getting the freedom that the main roster talent doesn't have. So, you know, that, um, you know, the, the restrictions aren't as tight. So it's kind of like a little loophole there. And uh, that's why, you know, it happened the way it did. But but there's still limitations. And, uh, you know, they have a you know, they have sponsors and things like that. And, and at that point, once it hits sponsors, um, you know, or, or things happen where they think it might hit sponsors, then, um, you know, you have to stop, or maybe they think you've gone too far and, and you went past the point of being allowed. Yeah. Uh, at first, when I saw the story early this morning, I had only seen the stuff on her Instagram, which, you know, she, there's like bikini pictures and stuff on her Instagram. Yeah. That's not an issue. Um, and then, Somebody sent me what they believed was probably the the crossing point. And I was really surprised because, like you said, it is way more risque than I even realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it, and that's what it was. It was a, a certain scene, you know, and, and, and other things that she was doing on those accounts that crossed the line of what's allowable. When I heard about I actually heard about it yesterday before the firing and I thought, Oh my God, like, do they know about this? And if they don't, they're going to know about it yeah. soon. And it's going to be, you know, it's like, I, I was, I, I, I figured she would have to be gone at that point. Yeah. And that's why I was wondering, like, how much of this was her decision? Because if they had told her, hey, you got to tone this stuff down, like, it, it doesn't seem like she was either wanted to or decided, like, whatever it was. Uh, but it did seem like a decision but, for mean, her to. She she definitely went. I mean, like if she had any, if, if you have any sense about what the rules are, she went way way over it. Right. Um. Perhaps, you know. Um. I, I mean, I can't think for her. You know, it's like I don't know what. I don't know if she was told and just decided that. Hey, I'm making more money this way. I don't need them. Um. Let them do what they want to do. Or she just wasn't thinking. And just figured she could get away with it, or you know, I don't know her mentality where where her mind was, what she was told. I only know that it was pretty clear why it happened. Uh, do we know? I mean, probably not, but obviously there are two other people in in her group here who are probably going to be affected by this decision. Have you heard anything about JC and Gigi? I figured that they're still going to be a tag team, and uh, I don't I don't know that they'll be affected that much. Um, you know, there's a little bit in the sense that, you know, she was kind of carrying some scenes with them, but you know, their, I mean, their role and their position, I think is pretty much going to be the same. And, you know, when the talks were bringing them up, it was JC and Gigi that there was talking about bringing up, not her. So mm -hmm. they were going to be brought up and that they were, you know, they were going to be brought up before. And then the decision kind of changed. This was, I don't know, a couple months ago, right, right when they did the women's tournament, if you mm -hmm. were. And then they kind of, I think that they had like a match and it was like, okay, maybe they're not ready yet. And um, yeah, with Gigi. Um, 
and that something happened in, in the match that wasn't particularly good and they just thought they weren't ready yet. But the plan was not to bring her up when they brought her up. So long term, I don't think it changes their trajectory. Uh, they'll be brought up when they think that they're ready and uh, not associated with her. And then I guess last thing is uh, we saw with with Paige Van Zant where she found out that, you know, she could make more money than be employed by by the UFC. Uh, this seems to be I don't know how similar a, of a decision it is, but there's a there's now sort of a lane created here, right? Like for uh, certain people. But the, OK, the thing is, is, you know, you can make more money. But um, the question is, and, and every person's different, is how long before that fan base moves on to the next television star? It's like, yes, perhaps today she's making a killing on it, but but that money is fleeting. You know what I mean? It's not like it's going to be there if she's off TV. Or maybe it will be there. You know, I mean, it's like every every person's different. Every person's um, appeal is different. I mean, it. you know, but you just the, I think the, the, the scary part or, or in certain parts, scary is probably not the right word. The uncertain part is you just don't know once you're off that TV and once you're not talked about how long that will happen. And I mean, it may be a long time. It may be, uh, you know, a short time, you know, but, and also the ability to find spots like for page showing up in aw uh, a few times still you know the bare knuckle thing is is what it is but th at least there's still some publicity there and that seems to be part of the playbook which is i mean for, for mandy it's build your name through wwe become famous and create your socials and do all that work and then you kind of have this fan base but like you said how, how long before it dwindles and i guess part of that blueprint is to try and keep your name out there as much as possible well you know there's other ways to keep your name out there besides being on nxt television i sure. mean it could go it could go if she went to AEW, you should have a bigger television vehicle um do you think tony would let that website continue the I, way it is uh, that's a hard one that's a hard i mean I, i've never talked to him about that s subject um i would think no um based on that but um i don't know that i don't know that but i, yeah, I would kind of go on the no side on that actually yeah all right, quickly switching but, gears. But 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 still, there's a million independent promoters that, that sure don't care absolutely, you know? and, and not just promoters, but you know, just people who, you know, I mean, there's there's definitely a, there's many many other avenues for for publicity and being, um, you know, staying in the public eye and and you can just do it yourself. You know, you can promote yourself like, you know, Tammy Sitch did and and you know many many others have. 